Oh, you got it. What you got? Two chance for a big down back with another one take review. And today I got one for Attack on Titan season four, episode 18. I think is what it is. Um, another good episode. Episode pretty much leaves off exactly where we left off last week, obviously, with uh, Armin trying to like get every convince everybody to say, hey, we should probably help Aaron. Uh, and he doesn't actually believe that Aaron is doing what he's doing uh, for the reasons in which he says, which I think it kind of seems like the average route or the typical route that, you know, that you would think of because the way Aaron, the character just completely switched up on them. You don't want, you really don't want to believe that. You kind of want to believe, you want to be in the mindset of Armin. They're like, no, he's doing it for a reason. You know what I'm saying? He's just like manipulating them. But I think we don't get to see that what happens, what's actually going on with that until we actually get to see like him and Zeke. Cause like, we still kind of waiting on Zeke to let out their cry, because once he does that, everybody turns into Titans. Also, you still have the Father Titan, who's able to control so much, so many different things. But what will he? What will Aaron do with that? Nonetheless, they get the scouts. The scouts are actually are on the Jaeger side, and like they have to stop him. But there's also some people that's like, damn. Aaron seemed like he holding his own, and then also Zeke showed up, which I didn't. I thought they were gonna like drag. I thought they were gonna drag that out. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think they were gonna just like have Zeke show right up, but like him, bro, he got an arm on him. Obviously, like the beast, like arms are hella long. Well, like bro, he has one hell of an arm on him because he was nailing uh, Galliard and and and, and Ryan just constantly. But something that they did this episode uh, that really didn't involve no action at all was well, they finally re reunited like Falco and uh, Gabby. So I'm like, okay, cool. I never liked those characters. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just what it is. I've told people this before. It's like I came up with Aaron and just because I see Gab what Gabby going through for like a, the half a season, that's not going to make me like feel for her. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you, honest, you you understand that both sides are technically wrong and, and both sides are like being like fed information. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the familiar one that I've seen go through more. You feel me? But they have a situation where Gabby is, she realizes like nobody's good. Nobody's bad. It's just like they're, they're, misinformation or misunderstood because like they have the sense the scene or like she's wanted to go out and talk to the people and then she also had the girl talking about she still wanted to kill her it's just like damn she does not know she's like so confused to the point that when her emotions finally welled up she just started to cry just like I can't believe I actually thought this was the right thing to do and then Falco tells her like yo I'm here for you I'm in love with you. The only reason I like listen, Falco saying he's in love really doesn't mean too much because they kids. Well, like I wish Falco would have gave a better reason. Like you, so you, I would be like, bro, so you joined because you were in love, bro. We y'all kids. Like, what are you doing? Like, you just really basically put your life on the line. But he said, the only thing you want to do is just like. You want to get to live on, oh, and, and and for for your friend at least you 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 do want that, you feel me? But that scene was just a little bit awkward. I think Gabby was blushing and just like, yeah, I don't I don't blame her for blushing. This is, this is a little bit strange, uh, nonetheless. We get back into like the fight, and only thing Aaron is trying to do is get this get the Z. That's all it is. That's the that's the thing that everybody's literally trying to stop because they know once that happens, they are shit goes south, you know. And Zeke still hasn't used his trump card because I think the only thing Zeke has to do is like, you know, yell and he can get everybody to turn into Titans. So he still hasn't even done that yet. But he plays around and he ends up getting sniped almost to the point that where he's killed because it's the shot was slightly off. It would have been a little bit more to the right. He would have been dead and like everything goes to shit then. I would have been wondering like what are they possibly going to do? Um, there's something I'm just thinking about in the back of my mind, and that's Annie. I know for a fact there's no way. Like, Annie's been gone for, like, I don't know how many seasons at this point. But I know for a fact she has to come into play at some point. My thing is when. And, like, will she even know the status as as, as to what is going on? Or, or where, where would she, like, put things at? You know what I'm saying? Where would she be like, okay, this is... This is a situation, I need to go do this, or like, I, I'm still wondering, like, what's gonna be the status of Annie 
uh, with everything that's happening right now. The show knows how to do. The show knows how to do some great things. And that one, it's like the tension and, and like the, the the situation where you don't know who's gonna come out on top. And I think it did that again. You have just like certain alliances and betrayals. Uh, because I was looking at it last week. I'm like, Aaron's getting stabbed. You have Galliard. You have, you have, uh, 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 I think her name Pake. All of them just like surrounding him. You have the 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 the, the, the giant blimps, not blimps, but the what the craft. What are the crafts? The spacecraft. Oh, not the spacecraft. The flying craft. Whatever that was, just shooting down. You have the uh, Marlian warriors just killing all the Jaegers. So you just look at it like, damn, how do they get out of this situation? And boom, once again, there is Zeke throwing rocks, literally taking down entire uh, like ships and stuff. So, and it's like even the playing field a bit. And so, I, I like the the show knows what it's doing and how to keep you on your toes. And and then it it accompanies that with great dialogue and character moments that have you like questioning like damn do I really hate this character or do this or this character just put it in a tough spot and I blame them for that so it's so good it's so good I can't even lie um ready to see next week's episode uh I, I'm so happy that I didn't read the manga but after I'm not gonna lie after, after every single episode I think to myself Damn, be done. You can just pick up that manga and read to see what happens next. But I'm, you know, I'm gonna stick with the anime to be with the rest of you guys who are just you know, that watch the anime. But it's getting tough. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Um, you guys, let me know what y'all thought about the episode. Down in the comments, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys stay safe. Make it with you guys later. Peace.